Suicide Squad. Now, keeping it down because it's one in the morning and my roommates are asleep, but I just got back from watching the movie and I'm actually really tired as well, but I just wanted to get my review up as soon as possible and get my thoughts. Now, some of you may know there's been some bad reviews going around about this movie. The Rotten Tomato score is low, but ultimately, I leave all that at the door when I go in and watch the film and I went in wanting to like it and ultimately I did like the movie. I I liked certain elements in it a lot. I loved certain elements in it but there's certain things in this movie that are in my opinion horrible and I understand where the bad reviews are coming from but ultimately the, the team, the actual Suicide Squad, the members in that team are on point. Everything from Deadshot, everyone from Deadshot to Harley Quinn to Diablo actually really surprised me. His character was awesome. Um, yeah, so for the most part, that the squad was actually really good. Um, the parts where it fails are with the villains and with the plot and the overall structure of the film. And just, it ends up being not a great movie, but still something that's really enjoyable. Now, um, I... It's hard for me because I wanted to like this movie. I wanted to love this movie so much. I wanted it to be great. And what I got was it being pretty good. And I liked it, but the things that were bad were really bad. Now, let me just talk about the things that I liked specifically. Will Smith was great as Deadshot. Phenomenal, I thought. The action with Deadshot was amazing. The character motivation, everything that had to do with Deadshot and Will Smith and his performance was great. Harley Quinn, we all were expecting her to, and she did it. She knocked it out of the park. Uh, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, that's what I meant to say. She was phenomenal. Um, like I said, Diablo really surprised me. Even the little, like, Captain Boomerang and Killer Croc were really good. Joel Kinnaman, who I'm a big fan of, was awesome as Rick Flagg. Amanda Waller, Viola Davis, was great in her role, even though her character is not likable. Her performance and... The character is a really good character. And just all of them working together and their interactions together was phenomenal. The tone of the movie I liked. I really liked the way the whole movie set up and the way it looks. And a lot of the comedy. A lot of people were worried about the comedy and hearing that they did research to add comedy. But the comedy actually really worked for me in this movie. Um, yeah, just there's a lot of fun. The action was great. The relationship between Joker and Harley Quinn was really awesome and every time they were on screen together I loved it the small cameos were really good some really good stuff in here now for me the huge huge downfall and something that I consider just horrible is the way not the entire character of Enchantress but how they use Enchantress to be the big bad villain and everything that had to do with that. Now, when they first introduced Enchantress, now Cara Delevingne was r pretty good as Enchantress, and she's a very attractive woman. Not that that has anything to do with the quality of the film with the character, but just, she, uh, I don't know. They introduce her, and she, she does some pretty cool things, and I'm like, all right, I'm liking Enchantress. But then, when they turn her into the big bad villain, and certain things happen, and a, lo a lot of dominoes start to fall, because of her becoming the big bad villain, that's when the film completely fell apart. Everything that had to do with that character and the other characters that were working with her just were bad to me. The end fight was just very anticlimactic and did not do it for me. Um, and I just, I can't go in, I'm going to, maybe I'll, I'm going to do a spoilers review later on, but I want to get this non-spoilers review up first. I just decided I'm going to do a spoilers review because I have to talk about specific things in order to explain what I, what was horrible about this movie. There's, and it's hard because, oh, here's the thing, like, Batman v Superman, like, I liked it, right? And I feel very similar about Suicide Squad and Batman v Superman. I liked Batman v Superman. But there's nothing in Batman v Superman that I said was horrible. I didn't, I've never used that word talking about Batman v Superman, the theatrical cut. I'm using the word horrible for this, for Suicide Squad. There's certain things that had to do with the Enchantress and stuff around her that was just bad. <laughs> really bad. And then just the plot is sloppy, the structure of the movie is not great, the editing isn't great, but overall, when I really take a step back and look at it, I had a really good time and I enjoyed it. But those, those huge glaring negatives just 
bring the film down for me really bad. So overall thoughts, I liked it. Go see it. It's a fun time at the movie theater. But keep in mind, there's some stupid shit in this movie. Now overall, as a score, it's tough. But I'm sitting at a, about a 7. That's as high as I can go. I'm going to give Suicide Squad a 7 for now. Maybe if I think about it more, it might go lower, might go higher. But for now, I'm sticking with a 7. All right, thank you all for listening to my short review of Suicide Squad. Sorry, I'm keeping my voice down low, but really appreciate you all listening. Again, I am Jacob Barley for Comic Hero Talk. Please subscribe, hit that like button, hit me up in the comment section. Until next time, you all take care.